Oh, hi, everyone. He's not ready yet. <laughs> what's up, guys? This is not my video. So, Sean, what's going on? What's in Whoa. the box? We have some PSA cards that we got by, uh, sent out. I got back. I figured it'd be something cool to show off. We haven't done a PSA greater returns in forever. Forever, yeah. Ever since, I mean, you had a sponsorship with them, which they don't love you anymore. Yeah, I actually <laughs> emailed them back. Emailed them back. I was like, yo, because during the pandemic, they're like, uh, we can't. No, we're getting like five hundred dollars per submit or submission. They did not care anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we oh, can't. We this can't is the do the foundation this. of all great collections. I said the thing. I said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's been three years. So I emailed my rep, and I'm like, dude, it's been three years. Can I like get back in this? And nothing. Nothing so far. Sad. All right. So Sean. Well, what do you want to start with? You want to start with this one's English. See. Yeah. There's there's a little bit of English. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. There's not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. But there's I sent out some a cool some cool Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, okay, so how do I do this? I used to go like, Wah! yeah. Tell me what the trick oh is. God. I've never okay. done one of these before. Well, I just cover the grade and be like, well, this is some Pokemon. Oh my God, dude, that is so sick. Actually. It's an Umbreon. Is there a swirl? They love swirls these days. Oh, they do love swirls, <laughs> and it's only a seven. Yeah, that one's going to get cracked, and I think we're gonna try for a different number. <laughs> That's the PSA way. Why where, did they do it? Where is the seven at on this? I don't know. I I haven't looked at any of these yet. I just confirmed they were all there due to the I value mean, of the package. And you then, can do your thing. They're all yours. But I'm like, I, I see a couple white nicks, but that's... It's not a seven. Am I missing like a gouge? I was waiting for it to be... I was like a nine, maybe an eight, but they hated me. Seven. Oh, there's a, there, there is a scrap. No, oh, no, that's on the... Whatever, you do your thing. I'm going to look right. at this. I'm like, why is this a seven? Uh, Dude, sometimes... Where is the at? Okay, all right, all right. So we covered up there. All right. So there's a lot of different champions, festivals, a lot of promo cards that I've gotten from going to the World Championships over the years. All right. Oh, it is a PSA 10 Japanese Champions Festival. Oh, you do have some... They damaged it. I'm, t I'm claiming it. No, nah, it's hard to see. If you get in the right light, you can see there's actually, like, scratches. Oh, all right, all right. They got me. Oh, <laughs> Another Japanese Champions Festival from the London World Championships in 2022. A lovely nine. So what are these worth? That one? I have no idea what that card's worth. That's not really worth anything in a seven, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's mine. I'll take it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I like free this. Free on the house giveaway, right? All right, I like it. All right, another World Championship uh, Champions Festival from DC. I love this one because it has all the arts of the past years in the back of it there. And we unlock, ah, oh, PSA 10. So the nine's not worth anything. Cool. The thanks. nine really is not worth anything. Uh, the, <laughs> the nines on the Champions Festivals are a complete miss. So what, what? What's like the difference between the two then? Uh, one gets cracked and regraded. Oh, okay. You know, mm. like that. that is absolutely that's fair. <laughs> All right, and then this one. Ooh, a second ten. All right. Um, third. Well, second of two thousand. Well, of the twenty nineteen. Yeah. The okay. 19th okay. Tens. The twenty twenty. You're slacking on. Oh, this one. I actually, I don't. I don't remember if this is a good grade or not. This one's worth a crazy amount if you get it in a good number. Uh, it is the 2016, I believe it was Boston. Oh, a nine. This one actually is good enough in a nine. I don't know if you crack and resend it. All right, the second one of these. I've been holding these on onto these for years, and then now Japanese promos are all the rage. So here Yeah, are. Japanese oh, cards. Oh, a ten. That makes it. It's worth 30 to $45. At least a few dollars. <laughs> Maybe seven. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, what, really? Why are you guys so excited about this? Oh, I didn't even look. At, what, am, what is this card? This is, all right, a 2015 Japanese, uh, Champions Festival. I forgot where they were at in 2015. Comment below if you went to the World Championship. Bo and a 10. Really, the rule of Japanese cards is it's always a 10. I think that's just the rule. It's basically, yeah, a nine's kind of an anomaly. <laughs> a nine is an anomaly. A nine means they just wanted to do something different. No, Japanese cards have really high quality. Boom, another do. 10. I didn't realize how many 10s are in this. All right. Oh, this is one of a really old one. Now, these are really rare. These have like a low pop I um, Goods. of all of them. So, oh, and a 10, which these are really hard to get. A 2010 uh, Tropical Tidal Wave. There are only, I don't know, less than 30 of those, I think. Look at how like cigarette stained yellow it is, too. I know the good heart gold soul silver. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I don't know if it picks up on the camera very well, but not just the border. The entire card it is like doesn't look as clean. It's like grandma's wall nicotine color. <laughs> all right. Tropical <laughs> Beach. We all know what Tropical Beach is. Did you know Japanese oh, yeah. Tropical Beach is more expensive than an English one? Why? So much more rare because they only handed them out in the packets. All right. This is the 2012 with the monkeys on it. Everyone hates this heart. Not everyone, <laughs> but I like the other one. 
and in a 10. I didn't realize the uh, the pop report on this until I looked it up. There's only 12 of these. You should probably sell that. It it, it may be already sold. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Planes Charizard. <laughs> I saw that and I giggled. I'm like, all right. You, uh, you shooting for like a six on this one? Because these are never in good condition. Never in good condition. PSA never. always. Nine, no, though. That's pretty good. Nine? Yeah, no, these are never in good condition. We'll save our two actual cool cards for the end. Do you remember anything about Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just being honest with you. <laughs> All right. I sent off some of the cool Yu-Gi-Oh cards I've acquired over the years. A Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, first edition, in a nine. Woo. See, this card broke the game. It got banned a few times. I'm going to read the paragraph of what it does. It's, it, may not, it may not make any sense. This card can only be special summon by removing one light and one dark monster in your graveyard from play. Pay 1,000 of your life points to send all cards in both players' hands and on the field to the graveyard. So wrath of God for everything. Yeah. Inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent's life point for each card that is sent to the graveyard by this effect. I don't even know that. I, I just know that's got to be good, right? It cheats. You cheat self into play. It blows up a bunch of stuff. I don't fully remember why it's all good, but yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would assume just destroying everything and then pinging them to the face is all good in any game, right? Yeah, at least it, yeah. You at least know the Dark Magician, right? I mean, yeah, I know Dark, dark Magician. This is the <laughs> Legends of Blue Eyes first edition Dark Magician. I don't know what that was in English to me. The, yeah, the very first one. It's There's a wavy and a non-wavy, which I've learned. There's two different prints of that. This is the wavy. This is the more expensive. In a lovely eight, I might crack and resend this one. I wanted that to be a bigger number. Oh, this one's easy. Spellcaster. Spellcaster, yeah. Don't know <laughs> what that means, but it's a spellcaster. <laughs> and then the real the real grail of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Uh, this is the Black Blue Lotus. Blue Eyes, White Blue Eyes, White yep. Dragon. First edition. It is a wavy print of the card, so that goes to the type of hollow that it is. Because it has almost, you know, it's not as clean as the other ones. In a nine, yo, that one's hype. That one's going to Crap. sit uh, on my shelf of goodies Crap. for a while. Usually, like Yu-Gi-Oh, you can just kind of snuggle up and read a read all the cards forever, and this one just says dragon. Very simple. You yeah, know, there's come nothing on, man. to it. <laughs> and another fan favorite, a first edition Dark Magician Girl. Oh yeah. From Magician's Force in a nine. So the Yu-Gi-Oh! pretty consistent on the nines. Dark Magician, I think they just had, uh, they didn't want me to have sequential nines. So Increase the attack me. of this monster by 300 points for each Dark Magician or Magician of Black Chaos in either player's graveyard. Ooh. That doesn't sound very good. I don't know no. what to start with. I don't know. Uh, we're going to teach Yu-Gi-Oh! We'll do it's the a 2,700. Kanami, we are, we are looking for sponsorships. So. <laughs> uh. <laughs> S- sponsor us, Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, so that I'll let you get the two cool ones. Oh, that's cool. And it, it, focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's ten. Well, you know what though? For anyone who watches the stream, you know there's a Pikachu tax. That is the Pikachu tax. That I get every good. Pikachu that. There you go. You get. The, we'll save the best for last. Better than that. Oh, that's cool. I Look saw how cool that I like one this is. one. Better, I like though. that one. It's very artistic. Very this very one is artsy. sweet. I also love PSA cases because... They rattle around. Yeah, I was noticing yeah. that. I'm like... Mm, Doesn't seem good, does it? You know, BGS. I have a BGS card over here. I'll go grab it. We can, we yeah. can compare the quality. Uh, BGS slabs, I like the fact that they're stackable and the cards are actually like snugly in there, but I still like PSA a lot better. Ooh, a 10 again. Man, my Pikachu tax is winning. That one is pretty good. That one they charged me six hundred dollars to grade. What's it like worth? Valued? I think twelve thousand is what they estimated that. Twelve thousand. Twelve. It's ten to twelve thousand. Yeah. Legit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have a buyer for it, and it is. It's going out tomorrow. Yep. Goodbye, Pikachu. Well, you get a cut of that for Pikachu tax. Yeah, that's. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. What... So here, here's a BGS card. We can compare it to if you want to. This is something that I bought oh. off somebody. Oh, God. I did not expect a pristine 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did not expect that. I thought this was some random junk car. It is. It's a Charizard <laughs> from Shining Fates. That's not. That's nothing, right? <laughs> All right. For those of you that don't know, at least with uh, Beckett, when you get a Gem Mint 10, there's a level higher. They grade you on four different parameters. If you get a 10 in each, you get what's called a black label. So it is a pristine 10, which is above a gem mint 10. Yes, you spike big money. Like this card, I think, is almost $2,000, but a regular BGS 10 is uh, is probably a few hundred. 
Yeah. So you're really paying for the black label. And then I looked at the condition of the card, you and, know. And look. But it, it doesn't, doesn't shake because they, they have an inner sleeve. So BGS is a really nice quality. Yeah, and these stack. They have grooves so you can stack them all and they won't slide and fall over like PSA does. They interlock with each other. Yeah, and then like the really PSA nice. cards, I mean, they put the sleeve on them, but they don't, they don't interlock anymore at that point because it's such a small... Uh, another thing too, though, is I don't trust BGS because there was a scandal a while ago where some dude oh, was yeah, there was giving out black labels to his friends. Yeah, so this guy kept grading stuff and he kept getting black, black labels. Black labels, a statistically anomaly. You know, it was, yeah. he had the best hit rate of any anybody in the in the industry. He was basically just giving them out to his friends, but man, they made bank. And I'm like, legality wise, I don't even know. Like, so what's I looked at this card and I think that there's. I don't think it would regrade to the ten. Look at that bottom left corner. I think that. You see, it's a little bit raised up. I don't know. Oh, it is. Yeah, I think that you I got one graded by that dude. Congrats. I did. Yeah, <laughs> that was meant I for one of his friends. Definitely bought this off of one of the guy's friends. It had to have been right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. that's that's actually wild. So yeah, I have more PSA stuff coming in. This is just some of the crazier stuff. Normally, I would. These are things that most people probably don't even know. They're like, yeah, these are all lame. But I love World Championship cards. Dude, if you saw any of my old PSA grade returns, I just graded the stupidest stuff in the world. Oh, you used to grade all like, the um, the challenge things, all the of first them. through fourth promos? Yep. Yeah. I still have, somewhere I have the one where they switched it. I think second place they have marked on the paper as third and third as second. Misprint worth twice as much. Oh, dude, every time <laughs> that would happen, PSA would get a hold of me and they're like, we need that back, we need that back, we need that back. PSA hates any messed up labels out there. They will actively find them in the open market and like take them off and fix them. So if you have them, hold on to them. Uh, or if you find the thing them. Here's on this 10. I don't know if we can see it on the camera. Probably not in the glare. Probably not. I don't know. You see there's a corner. There is a mark on this card. I was actually hoping for a 9, 7, 8. Uh, but they went a step above, gave it 10. So, uh, yeah, by the grade, not the card. That's what I always Grading say. Grading is subjective. <laughs> it is very subjective. Uh, that grader that day decided that they wanted their upcharge money. Yeah. They, <laughs> if they get a cut of it, then <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, we got to learn. They don't all fit. All right, you guys got to go. But, yeah, there we go. So well, yeah, we'll have more of these coming up. Oh, the sad Umbreon. The Umbreon, don't even put it on screen. <laughs> it <doesn't> yeah, I <laughs> forgot. I, st I stole this from it's you. It's a seven. We don't want to. Goodbye. Oh, cool. These Pikachu taxes <laughs> just made me, what, like 40 grand? You I'll made a little that. bit of money on the Pikachu. There's a Pikachu in each one of these, right? So I think that you have rights yeah, to everything. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have like anything that has a Pikachu. I think for this one, the Pikachu tax can extend. Yeah, well, they're not my cards, but I want out. I don't know. Pick a favorite, and then I'll sell it for you. Well, yeah. everyone, <laughs> see, you uh, see you next video during our video drought, because we're, we're reaching here. Yeah, probably another PSA thing next. It'll be <laughs> more Champions Festivals and more random Japanese cards. God, they need to... <laughs> I need to get my contract with them back so I can just, I've got, I am like stockpiling stupid things to All grade. All the dumb stuff, yeah. Yeah, they, I can't tell you what they charged me, but it was like, um, it was, it was worth just yeeting anything. Yeah, exactly. How many sequential common ball guy tens can you get in a row? I want like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you all next time. All right, see you guys. Bye.